Hey everyone, it's your boy Sarge, and I'm back. Today, I got a double feature. We got Iceman and Iceman. One from, from um, Wicked, and one from Sanix. Uh, those are my two favorite um, uh, 3D modelers, uh, uh, Patreons that I, I, I um, subscribe to. Uh, they, they just, they just the best at, at it all. Um, there's other good ones that I like, but these guys are just, just polished. Oops. <laughs> and they just have the stuff that I, I like uh, when it comes to um, um, uh, characters. But um, I do have some more coming down the line. i uh, got an Incredible Hulk by uh, 3D Wicked and some other ones from the other company, B3D uh, Zerk. And then it's, it's just my plate is full, but... I'm going to keep it coming. Uh, I really, really um, love doing these guys. So I printed them both clear. Uh, this guy, he was printed in clear blue. And uh, he was printed uh, in a, um, just uh, basic clear. And I uh, did some washes and all kind of tricks just to get them to where they are. And here we are. I did some snow effects. And I really like uh, using those snow effects. I use the, um, the um, Citadel colors for the snow effects. Uh, they have a, like a snow blizzard uh, effect. I'm sure you can uh, find these other ones for cheaper. Uh, and, and actually probably more of it uh, at Walmart or something. Or something that you can concoct. Um, i probably look it up myself just so I can have more. Or be able to refill that, that, that paint bottle with some... Um, with some um, contrast medium. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this one and please stay tuned for my next uh, um, artistic adventures in this game we call 3D printing and painting. <laughs> All right, so um, please hit the like and subscribe button and um, I will continue to bring you um, more content. All right, thank you. Peace out. Here I'm starting with a, a basic uh, uh, primer for the base. And now I will take a combination of uh, turquoise and blue with, with uh, some uh, thinner of golden uh, paint, the, the transparent paint. And now I'll spray my base with it. I, like, I wanted to print this one uh, clear. So it can look more like uh, ice when I when I print and paint. All right. Here, just going over the um, the silver parts of the hand. Get those out of the way. And I, I use that same silver on the base. And then I'll go over it with a, a wash. Pretty simple. Really not much to a single hand. So here I'm going in and I'm taking my blue and I'm making some streaks. And that's that, that Arctic from uh, Citadel. Just some streaks, cause you know, it's a long slide. And it's gotta give that effect as you know, it gets stretched out. And you see the combination that I put together to get that that, that water that water uh, effect because water is pretty much this color when it's uh, frozen in a large mass. Ice Man, he's one of my favorite uh, growing up. I used to watch Spider Man and his amazing friends, and, and Ice Man, Firestarter, they were just so cool. And, uh, you know, you would see Iceman as, you know, part of the X-Men, but um, you never really see Firestar Firestarter. I wonder what happened with her. Um, I didn't keep up with all the Marvel comics, uh, just uh, the main players. But I always thought she was pretty cool. 
And then uh, Drew Barrymore, she fooled me when I was uh, a kid. And I thought that the movie Firestarter was about Firestarter from Spider-Man. <laughs> All right, so here I got some Arctic, uh, I believe Arctic Blast from Citadel, and I'm just putting that frost in, giving it that, that frozen effect. You gotta let it go. Let it go. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Gotta have fun sometimes. But, uh, yeah. He is the male version of the girl on Frozen. I forgot her name. It's been so long since I watched it. But that this slide is, is pretty cool. Uh, Wicked, they did a really good job on this model. Okay, so now I'm gluing him to the base. Make sure he's lined up with the hand position uh, of the ice uh, that was sculpted out for him. It, the little divots there you'll if you print this out you'll see it and same goes with the the ice uh sculpt from his hand uh or the, the power blast from his hand and uh, make sure that it line up with his thumb and, and his his fingers yeah yeah this 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 model is awesome also uh the other one uh that i'm gonna do uh the Sanix one, he was pretty dope too. I printed him months ago. Just, it just takes so long to get to each and every model, uh, you know, to, to keep up with. These guys, they pump out models uh, <laughs> more than a dang on beauty pageant. <laughs> and it's just, I try to keep up, but it's, it's not easy. So here I'm going with uh, the, the Sanix version. Knocking out the base and uh, putting um, a white primer on his on his pants. So what I did with his his arms and um, and face and the tape under the this his legs right here, I hit him with a, um, a, a matte clear coat just to give a little bite. Uh, so you know the other paint has something to stick to. It's, it almost acts like a primer. So it, it works out. You, know, you got to get all the nooks and crannies of uh, clear painted um, projects because they will show through. Um, it's not a problem for this one being that he's supposed to be ice and you can kind of see through him. You know, it's, it's not really anatomically correct, but that's what we get. Now back to this guy so what i'm doing here i'm hitting it, his body with some of that uh um, clear that i made for the for the base so what i did before this um i hit him with the white and then some gray uh from below to uh to give a pop to those those muscles and you can you can see, you know, where it's popping. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, snow effect um, and just dry brush it on there. I don't know why I, I thought I could use a dry brush for this, but um, I, I did go back and, and change to a traditional brush, as you can see. Um, never do that again. So yeah, traditional brush, and you and you stand a chance of ruining your brush uh, using this stuff, but um, it's pretty effective once it dries, because yeah, it does look like uh, watery snow. So now I'm going back and I'm dry brushing uh, white onto the, the model. Getting everywhere uh, where I think, uh, you know, it's a, a high point or a sharp edge. 
And you can see it's starting to look frosty. Now, back to Sanix. So, um, what I'm doing here, at first I, I, I did a, um, a red paint on his uh, uniform, the, the X uh, emblem. And now I'm going with uh, a, a black gray color uh, for the rest of his suit. And, and this right here is just the, um, the um, blocking. And I'll come back in and do some highlighting and low lights. It's pretty tough uh, doing both of these jobs at once, but um, I got it done. Um, it's fun doing this. I, I don't teach uh, the traditional way because, you know, I'm learning still. Um, I, I've painted on paper, uh, you know, uh, every type of medium, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm a traditional illustrator um, originally. But I've always painted models growing up. My mom would order me um, the uh, Gundams in the 80s, uh, the Robotech stuff. Uh, I messed with Voltrons. Um, my mom always kept me um, doing something artistic. Uh, when I was a, a kid, I used to take Elmer's glue and, and, and squirt it on my hand and, and rub it together till it dried and, and it would turn into like something like a uh, like clay and and make action figures out of it and um after it hardens up um and they, and they were they they were um articulate also so it's i don't know i've always been into stuff like this but i've always wanted to be an art teacher uh, i got my degree from art school and then went straight to, to cosmetology school and actually got in, hired as an instructor there but uh, i didn't like the 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 drama that goes along with being a cosmetologist. So I just stuck to uh, cutting hair. But um, yeah, I've always loved teaching. Uh, I was a martial arts instructor for a long time also. Uh, that's what I did after I retired from the Navy for a few years, but um, never got away from, you know, doing traditional art. So yeah, I don't feel like sitting up in the school. So, I do some teach back here, and uh, and it's it's very rewarding because I get something out of it, and you get something out of it. Um, I'm learning as I go uh, because there's always new mediums uh, that get invented or you know make you know things easier for us, and I I will discover them and and pass it on to you. And I I do like watching the other channels. I watch. Um, I watch The Creative uh, Collector. I watch Ground Affected. I watch Greedy 3D. I watch uh, uh, Ninjon. I watch, uh, uh, what's his name, Vince, uh, Ventura, uh, Venturella. I watch uh, The Miniac. I, all, all the guys, because I'm a sponge. And uh, I get something from the miniature world, and I get something from the sculpting world. And also traditional uh, painters, because uh, this is just like painting uh, on on canvas. Although it's three D, um, the effects and and all the um, the rules still apply. You got you know uh, highlights, low lights. You got uh, blocking. You got bases. It, it doesn't matter if you're doing this on a, a tablet or paper or three D model. Um, there's, 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 uh, that one rule that you got to use when it comes to lighting. And, um, I try to apply it to everything I do. And you don't want something that's just going to be flat. All right. So here I'm, uh, working on that leather jacket. I didn't want a black leather jacket. Uh, I didn't, I don't need that, uh, that early 2000s look. I wanted a, a leather jacket, and I wanted to have that rusty uh, 
uh, look on it as if it's uh, you know been worn. So I'm going in here with a uh, a orange brown from uh, Vallejo and um, getting in all the nooks and crannies first, and then I will go and do a, a wash on them. So now I'm hitting them with a dry brush. Uh, just uh, mix uh, a little bit of um, like tan with that uh, brown color. Make sure I hit all the high spots where the, the light would shine down on them. Now it's time to fill in all the, the black uh, items that's on his uh, belt. Nothing major here. And now some more dry brushing on the actual um, uniform. And um, I just mixed down um, th that same gray and a little bit of um, light gray. And um, I'm just making those muscle pops and I'm, I'm making the, the pants, uh, the creases in the pants pop. And you can see the palette that I'm using, the dry brush palette. Uh, this is the one that I made when I bought a, a plastic plate from Walmart and just glued a whole bunch of fail prints and all kind of crap on there. But it works. I have, you know, the traditional one also that I 3D printed. It works. But um, I like to use everything I got. Okay, so now it's time for some wash. And I'm washing his uh, uniform first with some uh, uh, gray uh, wash. Because I don't want it to look chalky. Uh, but I do want to come back and do an effect that will um, uh, put a little frost on his um, his pants and, and, and uniform. Because he's, he's going, he's going uh, solid with some ice. And nothing um, is going to escape that that ice. I don't care what kind of uniform they put on him, but <laughs> it's it's touching him. It should be be a, a little icy. And forgive me um, that this isn't in view, but trust what I'm doing. I'm I'm washing them. <laughs> now I'm just. Um, dabbing all this off not all of it but 
the the hot spots because you want it, you know. In the oh man, I'm sorry, y'all guys saw my head. <laughs> but <laughs> speaking of hot spots, but uh, now I'm putting that brown wash on his jacket, and it's is looking he's looking tough. I actually had a jacket that almost looks like this. I wouldn't mind having it back for the winter. That's back when I used to wear everything oversized. <laughs> Skinny guy trying to be a fat guy. All right, now I'm wiping that off, all the excess. And uh, you can see it. It's, he's looking good. I'm um, going in uh, on the lighter part of his jacket. So I actually painted some um, liner in there with a lighter, lighter brown. And there we go. Back on the stick. Some touch-ups. Well, he's, he's pretty much done. So now for the base. Um, and I'm going in with the same colors that I did on the, the Wicked uh, 3D uh, sculpt. Same process. It's easier now um, than, you know, doing traditional skin because, you know, he is, he is ice. So here, what I'm doing, I'm trying to clean my airbrush because it's got a, a, a clog in it sometimes it's going to happen when you're you know you're doing your thing and it's spraying well and then you put something in there and you get a clog and <laughs> next thing you know you're cleaning for the next 30 minutes and then you know you've, you've lost time but you learn something more about that airbrush that you didn't know before so that's how you get in tune with your, your 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 tools. All right, here I'm taking that that snow effect again, the the blizzard, and um, I'm just uh, filling in the cracks, going all over the base, uh, making sure that you know every part that was supposed to be um, the uh, pounded uh, snow around him gets uh, covered. All right, and now some dry brushing on his head, and he will be a wrap at the varnish. And now it will be time for the final reveal. Which one would you like better? Let me know. But like and subscribe. Till the drummer get wicked. What y'all think? Did I blow it or did I did I do it? <laughs> I'm truly amazed at the details that uh, the Wicked team did on this Ice Man. I, I love it, and uh, I wish I could sculpt this great. I'm terrible at it. I was terrible in school. And uh, I also love this version of, of Sanix. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the one for, you know, the hair. I like the traditional blockhead that Iceman had, but this is cool uh, for the, the future. And 
Yeah, they're both they're both great. I really hope you guys like this, and I really hope to see someone else do it, uh, this good or better. Not that mine's the best, but I want to see uh, what other people can do. Uh, I also have a patron that you guys want to send me messages or uh, subscribe to me. That'd be great. Check it out. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and tuning in and stay tuned for more uh, in the future. And I'll try to not to do so many ums by writing a script. <laughs> and uh, please uh, take care of yourselves and uh, you guys have a great uh, day. Peace out.